Hi, I'm Wendy, and this is Wendy Drinks Gin. Cheers! Hi, and welcome to Wendy Drinks Gin. Today I'm drinking my first gin away from the Thatch Cottage, but I did bring some gin from the Thatch Cottage. Today I'm drinking Mermaid Pink Gin. I really love this bottle. I have no idea what it tastes like. I'm gonna find out today, but I wanted it for the bottle. There's Hopefully this will be a great choice because the strawberry in it may give it, you know, more, more flavor. Sadly, being away from the thatch cottage, I don't have my pretty gin glass and pretty garnishes. I actually don't even have ice today. So we're winging it with a beer mug and some oranges, which we had on hand, but no ice. So they got the gin kind of good and cold and my Mediterranean tonic is cold. So I have no idea what to mix this with. I did look on Gin Venturi, which is a great app for telling you what to pair your gins with. It did have this Isle of Wight gin, which is great. It tells me that it actually does have a good um, Gin Venturi, but it said to drink it with Indian. I'm not a fan of the just regular tonic water, so I've got Mediterranean. But on hand, I also have ginger ale and lemonade, so the, the English bubbly lemonade to try at other times. But today I'm gonna to go with the Mediterranean. So first of all, let's give this a little try. It's very fragrant. Um, I don't smell strawberry. It smells more, it smells like a berry, but not, I wouldn't call it strawberry necessarily. It does have a little tint of pink color. It's a strong harsh bite on the front side and then you taste a little bit of the strawberry. Um, it's and it's a little sweet. It's not sickly sweet but it's, it's just a hint of sweetness. Let me try it again. With the sweetness that this adds in the strawberries I think it's going to be a fine gin for me but without that it would have been a little little too harsh I think. So let's add some Mediterranean. And just pretend this is a pretty glass with some pretty garnishes and lots of ice to swirl around. Swirl it for old time's sake. <laughs> Watch my oranges dance. It's not bad. Hopefully it's pretty good. Um, I don't think I would since it is a really harsh gin um, on the front side. I don't think I would like it with the uh, Indian. So I think I made the right choice in getting the Mediterranean. But I am curious to see what the other two will taste like when the, the ginger ale may be too sweet, but the lemonade may work. So I'll give that one a try next time. So let me tell you a little bit about, I don't have my menu Bible anymore that tells me all the good things, but Gin Venturi, I really like this app. You should get it if you're a gin drinker or you just want to know more about gin and how to pair. This is what it told me. It infuses the flavor and aromatics of island strawberries with the smooth yet complex taste of the award-winning gin, just the regular mermaid gin. Um, a blend of lemon zest, grains of paradise and fragrant rock sapphire, which is foraged from the Isle of Wight. Um, by the way, the rock sapphire grown there is known as Mermaid's Kiss, as it grows just above the sea at sea line at high tide. So um, we did go to the Isle of Wight, but I don't remember seeing that, but maybe it's a seasonal thing or I didn't know what I was looking at because quite honestly, all the walks we took had some beautiful wildlife and flowers um, growing all along. So could have been looking at it and not even knowing. So um, would I recommend this gin? I would recommend this gin. I'm Wendy, I'm drinking gin. I recommend this gin. I hope you try it and let me know what you think. Oh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment. Let me know how you liked it. This is Wendy.
Cheers. <laughs>